Thank you for tuning in to another episode of A Business Minute. My name is Sir, and today I'm joined with a special guest, Mr. Darren Hennenberg. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Uh, no complaints. No complaints. So, Darren, uh, just like I ask everyone else who's been on here, uh, what's the name of your business? The name of the business is Hennenberg Special Washing LLC. All right. And uh, just so we can, you know, just clear the air, uh, what is it that you do? We do pressure washing services, um, commercial and residential, um, from Mobile to the Daphne, Sarahland, pretty much everyone in the surrounding areas. Okay. And how long have you guys been active? Uh, since November 4th of 2015, so we're going around third year now. Okay. Okay. So... With uh, you guys being in your third year, congratulations, by the way. Uh, what inspired you guys to, you know, really start and go out on your own? Um, really, the pressure washing was, like, really random, honestly. Uh, it really, you know, started out of nowhere. We we just had a, I had a job, and my boss was like, you know, hey, you want to buy this machine? And I was like, hey, nah, it's our way of it. <laughs> I knew mm-hmm. nothing about pressure washing at all. Like, I, I had never done it. Nobody had that. I even didn't know anything about it. And it really just started off as something that just, you know, just a fun. And, you know, I did some family members' houses. And then I started posting pictures on Facebook. And I had a couple people say, hey, come through mine. And from there, it just, you know, it took off. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, serendipity is a thing, you know, discovering something that you're good at completely by accident is wonderful. So, yeah, I like it. With you guys being three years in the game again, uh, what obstacles did you guys encounter along the way? Um, well, the first big, uh, big obstacle I had was when I um, broke my knee in 2016 when I broke my patella tendon. So mm-hmm. um, that made it very tough for me. I was out for about three months, and it was, you know, it was kind of hard to get back to the flow of things, you know, physically and mentally. So I was pretty down on myself. I was, you know, wanting to give up. You know, I was so. It, that was probably the biggest obstacle I've had so far. Okay. Okay. So. Well, it, look, it looks like you, you bounce back pretty well, so that's that's always good. Now, yeah. um, I want to ask, you know, with with pressure washing, I know that can be, you know, depending on the clientele, it can be an all day thing. So, how do you manage to balance work and personal life? Oh, that's a tough one. I I, I think I'm I'm pretty bad at that. Like, if, if if anybody ever looked at my social media, like that's that's probably all you'll see. So it's like my mm-hmm. my balance is probably way way off. I have to get better with it. But I'm, I'm I try to take some off days and you know relax sometime. I like you know you know fishing and and you know playing ball from time to time. So I guess that's you know my little you know my getaway. But for the most part, man, my it's like it's some it, it it assumes my whole life. You know so. Okay. Okay. Well, and that's and I appreciate the transparency there. You know, being honest, that definitely yeah. goes a long way. And so uh, yes, with that as well, you know, with you guys being there, what has been the most memorable moment you've had so far? Oh, man, you hit me with a tough one. <laughs> um, I don't say um, most memorable. I think the, most, the thing that gave me, like, the most, the best feeling was, like, we, we won the, um, the 2018, you know, Best Black-Owned Power Washing Company. And the award was amazing. I was like, you know, very excited about it. But outside of the award, I was, the support that we received was mm-hmm. like the biggest thing for me. So if, if I'm gonna say like, you know, what was most memorable, that would probably be it. Like seeing the amount of support we had from Mobile, like from the city, mm-hmm. that was probably the best feeling that I've ever had since I started, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, I can imagine that. Uh, just starting this out on my own is crazy. You never know who's paying attention. And that's, yeah, that's the thing that surprised you. You never know who's watching. It could be somebody you haven't talked to in years and you just never know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, looking on the flip side of it, at any point did you feel like things wouldn't be successful? And if so, who or what changed your mind? Um, I think the most I've been down was maybe recently. Well, not too recently. This last, um, you know, December, Christmas time, you know, when it's cold outside it was my first time going through a season where i wasn't employed with the job mm-hmm. so it was the first cold season where i didn't have a check coming in every tuesday i mean you know, every, every two weeks 
So, you know, I never realized how slow, <laughs> you know, the winter was first until I went full time. I quit my job and went full time with it. So I know, like, around January, I was like, man, like, I, I didn't want to give up, but I, it was, like, I was starting to get really frustrated. I was like, man, I put so much into it, and man, it was slow. And, like, we're not getting any calls, and then, but every time we get to that point, it's like something happens out of nowhere. It's like, like, you'll want to give up, and then it'll be something that reminds you, like, like, don't give up. I like, keep on going. And, you know, something that reminds you why you started, you know? Mm hmm inspiration i hear that okay okay so all right darren my next question is really thinking long term uh where would you like to see yourself in the business in one year three years and then 10 years one year three years 10 years okay well in one year the goal is to continue expanding you know of course so right now the basis of our business is you know 50 percent mobile 50 percent daphne and spanish sport so over the next year, we're trying to, you know, push out to the Sailand and Satsuma area. So we're trying to, you know, really get all of the surrounding areas, you know. So I know that's a big goal. And, you know, to continue, you know, being able to, you know, upgrade our equipment, you know, and get more trucks. And that's pretty much the one year goal. Um, three years, three years, three years. Well, in three years, I, I would hope the business would have, you know, have. Now, let me let me. I, I said that all the way wrong. The business will have there you go. Been to the point where we um we will need at least ten full time employees. Mm -hmm. Um, I have three guys right now, and they you know we're doing pretty good with the, with, it, with you know with it, that's for. But you know we'll be busy enough to have at least ten full time employees. Um, I would like to have three full service vehicles on the road by that time, and you know like like I said, continue to you know. Build and upgrade and expand. <sighs> Not a t oh, and one more thing. Hopefully, by in the next three years, the um, I have another venture I'm, I'm I'm trying to do, which would be called Hindenburg's Home Services. Okay. And basically, it'll be run. Well, it'll be started by Hindenburg's Pressure Washing. The, the, the Pressure Washing is a platform for me. It'll mm -hmm. allow me to you know to raise the capital to be able to to you know to venture out into different things. So Hindenburg's Home Service would be basically like the umbrella. You know, I, I want to go into different ventures, like, you know, like we want to do painting, you know, maybe landscaping, you know, just doing a lot of home improvement type of businesses, but all in, under one hat. And okay. that, well, that's what the Hindenburg's Home Service is, you know, a, a be. And that's what we're, we're planning on that to start. We're, 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 you know, we're branding right now, trying to get everything developed. And so that's hopefully, you know, that that's the three-year goal. And the 10-year goal, let's see. 10 years I um hopefully everything if everything keeps working like it is we'll be in Dallas actually um okay in 2020 in 2024 I'm looking to actually not move like permanently to Dallas but um me and my, being a business partner of mine we're actually looking to start building the, the company there too okay so yeah I wanna I wanna have a you know a pressure washing business up in, in, in Texas so that's the that's a goal we're looking to do, you know, power washing and start a moving company as well. So mm. that's the 2024 goal. So that's a little before the 10 year goal. So in the 10 years, you know, I want to, you know, I don't want to do this. I don't want to, you know, do physical work forever. Uh -huh. you know, it, you know, I, I'm, I, I already have bad knees from the surgery and stuff. So I know I can't do this forever. So hopefully, um, I'll have enough guys to be able to do all of this work and I can like venture off to the side because I, my true passion is real estate. Okay. I've actually been, I've been really, I've been interested in real estate since I was a kid. My, my mom, you know, has her own real estate company. She's been a broker almost my whole life. So I've always looked up to her. Like I even did my, my senior project in high school on real estate. Like, so wow. it's, that's the end goal for me. So I want to, you know, do property development and, you know, I want to, you know, start buying rental properties and, um, all, you know stuff along those lines so that's a 10 year goal that's where you know that's where we're going that's where we're leaning to alright brother claim it there's nothing wrong with that and there's nothing wrong with chasing a dream while you're working on a dream there's nothing wrong with that it's called ambition I'm, I'm all for it most definitely alright and that brings me to my last question and this goes out to everybody that's listening what words of encouragement would you have for somebody out there who's just starting out just starting out. Um, if I was just starting out again, I would want somebody to tell me, you know, to 
do something that you love. Like, don't just get into anything you're doing because you see you're making, you, you can make a lot of money. You know, that the, the money don't last forever. You want to be happy while you're working. You know, you don't want to go, you know, do something that you're going to be at work the whole time being miserable. You want to actually enjoy being at work while you're making the money that you're making. So, you know, before you choose to do something that you're going into long term, you know, make sure you look and, you know, everything after that is, you know, a fall in place, you know, as long as you're happy, you know, it'll work out. All right. I appreciate that message. That definitely spoke to me. And I'm pretty sure that'll speak to everyone out there listening, man. So, again, Darren, thank you again for allowing us to be the platform to tell your story. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all reaching out to me. Hey, not a problem. Well, uh, Darren, I did want to do one more plug for you. If anybody wanted to see your work or had any questions for you, how could they get in contact with you? Um, they can look me up under Darren Hindenburg or they can um, go to my business page. Hindenburg Special Watching LLC. I know it's going. It's probably you know a long name, so I spell it out for you guys. So it'd be H E N I N G B U R G and Pressure Watching, and you can find me on Facebook, um, or you can call me by my cell at two five one four zero six five eight seven five. All right, brother. Well, uh, once again, thank you again for taking your time out your day to let us do this, and uh, you have a blessed day, brother. I surely appreciate it. Hey, thank you.